Hi, Leo. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. This is your reading for the week of September 19th through the 26th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer personal readings. I also offer INT, which is a healing modality. The information is below. Um, if you're interested in this t-shirt or other t-shirts that I manufacture and some other and some that I paint or have manufactured and others that I paint by hand, as well as textiles, please visit my site, brightcolor.com. And don't be afraid to buy something. Yeah, by permission. Um, additionally, I'm also offering one-on-one um, -on -one readings in person. I live in Midtown Manhattan or an IAT session in person or come and see my textiles in person. Um, we can play dress up. I love playing dress up. <laughs> A lot of you know, you know, I love playing dress up. Got a lot of accessories. <laughs> if I could do the, if I could do the um, the shuffling with long nails, I'd have long nails in every color. But yeah. All right. Um, and to reach me, my email is below. Okay, let's see what's going on for Leo for this week, nineteenth through the twenty sixth. I'm in a good mood. It's just that uh, now the sun is setting and it's like, I would love to just continue with the readings, but I'm gonna split them up. I usually do, well, I don't know what I usually do, but I do a lot at once. And I feel like after you, take a break. Okay. See what's going on there. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hmm. Okay. So maybe there was a project that you had built or had, you know, worked on and it's done. Great. Great. I feel like you completed something. Wonderful. We're about to complete something. And you know, not everyone's satisfied. Tough. Are you satisfied? That's all that matters. That's all that matters. You know, you don't have to toot your horn and you don't have to. You're never going to satisfy everybody. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. So they're not satisfied. Let them commiserate in their own non-satisfaction. You don't have to, <clears throat> sometimes it's more pleasant to sit across the street and watch it, you know, watch them drive themselves crazy and not say anything. It's sometimes it's even better than engaging. A lot of times it's even better than engaging. It's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, I know eventually you're just gonna fall into that man. You know, patience. Patience, Leo. Yeah, the healings and the patience. It was, you know, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy, this thing. But you managed. You managed. And I, there's a lot to be said for that. I, I think, you know, you kind of, yeah, because you, you followed your intuition. You followed your intuition and you knew this is the right thing to do. And I think also you already kind of intuitively know it's like, you know, when you complete something, it's like, it's important after, no matter what it is, whether you cooked a meal or you read a book or um, you finished something at work or, you know, you painted a wall in the house, it's important to like sort of rest and say, I did a good job, you know? In the middle of it, it was a little hairy, but I did all right. I did all right, you know? Yeah. Have confidence in it is what you're thinking. Have confidence in what you've done and what you're doing. You know, don't let anyone drag you down to the dirt with all their nonsense, with all their gossip, with all their, don't, don't go there. Don't go there. Yeah. 
because if you get engaged with them, you, you just get, don't betray yourself. Don't betray yourself. This is you. This is you. Don't um, toot your own horn and maybe get into or don't be really full of yourself. Allow others to, to lift you onto the horse. Don't be um, expecting it. You know, don't be like, well, I did this and I want, no, no, don't, don't go there. Just allow the dust to settle and then people, you know, get like really who you are and what you're, what, what you're made out of. Just leadership. Just the leadership. Leo. You're a Leo. So this week, you know, Leo, just like all of the signs, has its positive and its negative. And I know that, you know, people really don't like Leo. I know I get I'm a Scorpio, so I really get it, you know. Oh, you're Scorpio. Oh, are you gonna sting me? It's like, why would I sting you? You don't even exist. <laughs> Got me? So it's like, oh, well, Leos are also full of themselves. Leos are really warm and really loyal and really focused. And, you know, so be that Leo, not the negative side of Leo, which, you know, and I have the negative side of Scorpio. I mean, I have the negative side of everything. In me. <laughs> Just a little. Um, of me, me, me. Know what you did is right, let it be, and eventually people will understand what you did was right, kind of thing. Because you're the leader. Lead. And you know, sometimes when we lead, we have to do things that are unpopular. Your job is to lead, it's not to follow. You might have an admirer of Leo. An admirer of Leo. You are my life. My life is yours. Sorry. <laughs> I think you have an admirer, actually. That's what I think. You know, I, I'm not, I don't really read like that, but I, it kind of feels like that. But they're going to like the tame lion. Right, the lion who knows their strength and doesn't have to prove anything to anybody. The the lion who roars all the time and just slashes everyone is not the lion that they're gonna be attracted to. In my humble opinion. Yeah, yeah, and you're ready to get on with the next project. You know, you you have there's more confidence. You have more confidence in yourself now. You have an admirer, Leo. I really believe that. I think you really have an admirer. Okay. Don't look for them. They'll they'll appear. I don't I, I don't really do those types of readings. I, I just don't. But it just felt it. It just it kind of felt it. Because sometimes I read that two of cups is, you know, a contract, a spiritual contract. It could even be pieces of yourself coming together, right? But it just didn't felt like oh, Mm -hmm. And then I got the lovers on top of it. It's like, oh, oh, oh. So invite me. I'd love to come to your wedding. Even if it's on Zoom. Well, I'd like to come in person because I like to eat. <laughs> I like to, there's somebody I go on their thing and uh, this person on Zoom has like fake snacks and, oh, I'll get you whatever you want. It's like, the hell's the difference? This is insane. Anyway, um, blessings to you and um, congratulations. You know, sometimes it's good to challenge ourselves to um, not do what we usually do to do something new, 
Like if we're allowed a lot to keep quiet, if we're quiet a lot to be loud. Sometimes it's really good to do that, to um, have a fuller perspective of the world. Blessings to you. And uh, I'm coming to your wedding. I don't care where it is. Blessings. Good to see you. Have a good week.